So to do a quick Google Hangout live stream, uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to your channel. Now, if you haven't set it up, Google's going to tell you, you know, you should change your banners and add a trailer and all that. Uh, but for now, I need you to scroll down to this bar that says Live Events. Now, because you don't have anything going right now, that's blank. But if you click on Live Event or Create Live Event, it's going to take you to the event creation page. From there, you can give your live event a title. You can set the start time. Uh, we're just going to call this testing just for show. Uh, you can set it for any date or time. You can also set an end time and add a short description. Um, you can also add tags to the uh, video just to help people find your video. Um, so you, over here you're going to see two types of encoding. Oh, you can also set it to uh, announce that you're using it uh, live stream through Twitter and Google+. Um, but the other thing that you'll need to do is choose a encoding um, feature. Um, for now, we're just going to go quick Google Hangout. Uh, and when we're ready to do that, we're going to go to Go Live Now. So once we do that, it's going to give us a little pop-up dialog saying, are you sure you want to go live now? We're going to say yes. And then the Google Hangout window is going to pop up. Um, if you've ever used Google Hangouts before, this will look pretty familiar. Um, once it loads up, it'll take a little bit to finish loading. Um, if you want to use your own external camera, and we recommend that you do, you can click this gearbox for settings, and it's going to give you the option to switch your camera. Um, so you can use in your internal uh, web camera if you like. The picture is going to be a little bit grainy compared to uh, actual webcam. Um, but for now, we'll just use our internal camera. Uh, same thing with our microphone. If we want to choose a different microphone, we can easily do that. And when we're ready, we're just save. Uh, I'm going to actually turn the camera off so we don't have... Uh, well, we can leave it back on. Um, so the other thing that we want to do is click this little link box at the bottom. That's going to give us the link to the YouTube page that this live stream will live on. Uh, you can tweet that out. You can email it to your friends. You can put it on Facebook. That's essentially how you're going to get people to your live stream. If you have a blog post, you can also copy and paste that embed code put it into your WordPress blog, and that will allow your blog, your live stream to show up on your web page. Uh, Smart Chicago tends to do this a lot. Um, when you're ready to go, you'll hit this Start Broadcast button, and then in a couple seconds, it will then stream live to the internet, and it'll show you in this little corner that'll light up saying, hit that button again to end the broadcast, and then it'll... Um, automatically upload this to YouTube, um, which is pretty nifty. Um, the other thing you have to remember when you're doing this is it's best to have an Ethernet cable plugged in because you don't want to be fighting with uh, Wi-Fi when you do this. And that's it for now.